now in uh, part b we will have to prove that psi plus zero and hamiltonian the perturbation applied on psi minus zero and this thing also comes out to be equal to zero so we will have to prove this thing so b part we have to prove that psi plus zero and hamiltonian perturbation applied on psi minus zero and this thing is also coming out to be zero so we will have to put the values of psi plus zero and psi minus zero psi plus zero we know that this is alpha plus psi a zero plus beta plus psi b zero and the hamiltonian here and then psi minus zero is alpha minus and psi a zero plus beta minus and psi b zero and now i will have to multiply them so here alpha plus and alpha minus so as usual alpha plus and this is in a conjugate form in alpha minus and then we have psi a zero and h prime psi a zero similarly alpha plus and beta minus and we have psi a zero h prime psi b zero these are the first two terms and then the next two terms are that beta plus and alpha minus so alpha minus and beta plus and we have psi b0 h prime psi a0 and then beta plus and beta minus and psi b0 h prime psi b zero now i will have to simplify this thing and will write in terms of w i j so this thing is equal to alpha plus alpha minus this is equal to w a a is per bit notation and then plus we have alpha plus in beta minus so alpha plus and beta minus and this is w a b then plus alpha minus and beta plus so this is w b a and plus this is beta plus beta minus and w b d so this is the we have converted it into w i j notation and now again from equation one from equation one i will write the beta plus and the beta minus values and in terms of alpha plus and alpha minus and i will write down them here so equation one implies that beta is equal to alpha is common as we have done earlier and w a b here and this alpha in e1 e1 minus w a a so here so this is plus minus so here we will have plus minus and here we will have plus minus so now uh, putting for beta plus in beta minus the values so we will have alpha plus alpha minus so it will be alpha plus alpha minus then w a a plus alpha plus is here then beta minus so i will have to write beta minus beta minus will become alpha minus 
over W E B and then here as it is minus so this will be E minus 1 minus W A A here and then we have the alpha minus in beta plus so again it will be alpha plus alpha minus because alpha minus is this one beta plus will have alpha plus so this is alpha plus over w a b here over w a b and as i am writing beta plus here so this will be e plus 1 minus w a a and then the final term we have uh, we have here okay i am missing one term here because i wrote alpha plus wa then alpha plus and for beta minus i have written alpha minus wab here so this wab term is also coming in here wab similarly when I write alpha minus beta plus W B A terms will come with this one W B A and then I have the plus term here so beta plus and beta minus are being multiplied so beta plus and beta minus so I will have to write the beta plus and beta minus Okay, one thing I will have to take care, another thing I will have to take care is to write the conjugates here. So this is the conjugate alpha plus here, then I have alpha plus conjugate here, then I have the beta plus and this is in conjugate form, then I have beta plus in conjugate form. Okay because this will change the order here of w a b and b a so i have alpha plus and for minus w a a and then alpha plus and alpha plus here then beta minus is a b e minus this and then a b here then alpha minus but beta plus is here so this one is in conjugate form look here when this is conjugate alpha minus i take conjugate so it will uh, the alpha plus i take conjugate it will remain the same thing here this will remain the same this conjugate will affect a a will be replaced with each other but this is the same a a so it will be the same but when i will put w a b so i will have to put conjugate here and then WBA with this one and similarly the other term B beta plus so beta plus I will write is it is conjugate term so I will write the beta plus is alpha plus and then it's a conjugate term WAB and I will have to write it in a conjugate form then E plus is this is beta plus conjugate sub so i will have to write e plus 1 minus w a a the conjugate will not affect w a it will remain the same then it is multiplied with beta minus so beta minus is alpha minus over w a b and then I have to write E minus 1 minus W A A and then this term which is W B B here. Now I will have to see whether some cancellation is possible and yes there is W A B here and W A B they are cancelling. Now here is W A B when I take its conjugate it will become W B A. I will have to note this thing that W A B conjugate is equal to W B A means it will change there in the brine kit. 
So this one can be cancelled, WAB can be cancelled with WBA and when I come here then this is alpha plus, alpha minus, this is WAB and this is WAB so it will become more square. So I will have this thing equal, let me start from here in order to gain more space. So we have alpha plus minus here, alpha plus minus here, alpha plus minus here and alpha plus alpha minus here. So we have to take common alpha plus alpha minus. Then what remains? W A A here then plus E1 E minus 1 minus W A A and plus here this will be cancelled so we have this is common so we have e plus 1 e plus 1 minus w a a and then i have the term here this one so alpha plus alpha minus is gone and i have these two terms one this is plus here one over w a b mod square and then the multiplication of these two a plus 1 minus w a a and e minus 1 minus w a a here. So I have uh, this thing and now there is some cancellation possible. And that cancellation is that I will have to write this thing W A A. If I look here, then this W A A plus in E minus one and then minus W A. So these two are cancelling here, and we are left with. 1 w a a and the other term so i will have to write this thing is w a a and then this will be okay i have missed one term here because this is alpha plus alpha minus this mod square this multiplied with this and then this whole is being multiplied with w b b as well this term now i will have to put one relation which we have proved from the earlier calculation and that is that e1 minus w a a and E1 this term we have proved in the previous this relation that E plus 1 E plus 1 minus W A A if this is multiplied with E minus 1 minus W A A and this whole is divided by W A B mod square then this thing is equal to minus 1. So I will have to put this relation here means this is the same thing here and this whole is equal to minus 1 and minus 1 will be multiplied with this. So I will have this thing equal to alpha plus alpha minus then this is e minus 1 and then plus e plus 1 minus w a a because 1 remains here and then minus and this will be w b b because this whole thing is equal to 1 here. So I have 
this thing equal to this. Now from the previous from part A, we have this relation as well that the addition we proved for E plus 1 is with E minus 1. This thing was equal to W A A plus W B B as in part 2 we have proved this one as well. So I can write that alpha plus alpha minus and then these two when added we have W A A plus W B B and then minus W A A minus W B B and here we see that they are now cancelling and we got zero in the brackets so this thing is equal to zero and hence we proved that psi plus zero h prime psi minus zero is also equal to zero and this is the proof of part B here.